So, what happens if your machine doesn't look anything like my machine? Don't worry. All you need to do is check your manual. Now, I know that manuals are one of those things that we open the box, pull the thing out that we bought, and throw in the manual immediately. <laughs> and while I do the exact same thing for almost all of my things I buy, sewing machines are the exception. When you have a question about how to do something on your specific machine or where something specific is located, your manual is the answer. It was written specifically for your machine. So all the special little details that are just for you and your machine are in that manual. Now, if you have a new machine, great. You already have your manual, it's in the box. If somehow you lost your manual or you threw it away, don't worry. All you need to do is jump on Google and type in the brand and the model of sewing machine that you have. So for mine, I have a Singer and the model is a 3232. So I typed that into Google and I found a PDF version of my manual and I just download it to my computer and I can reference it whenever I need it. So don't worry if you don't have your manual, I'm sure you can find it on the internet, okay? So once you have your manual, you're going to want to flip to the table of contents or just the first couple of pages and look for something called the principal parts of the machine. And what that will give you is this. And it's so, so cool. It's a call out of all the features and parts of your machine. So here's number one, it comes over and goes down. That's the thread tension dial, just like I showed you on a couple slides ago. Then number two here, it's my thread take up lever. And then it's a little bit more interesting. Let's see, um, my one step buttonhole lever, number 12. So if I find 12, oh, there it is. Perfect, okay? So if your machine doesn't look like mine, be sure to grab your manual and go through the features that I listed here and find them on your machine. It might even be a good idea if you're especially new to sewing or just new to your machine to keep your manual near you while you're sewing or just print off those little pages of the callouts. I find that when I have a new machine and I'm wondering, wait, how do I adjust the width again? But it's really nice just to look over, grab that call out that I just showed you, this page, and, be, and check it and say, oh, that's where it is. Perfect. It makes sewing much easier and I don't have to get as frustrated just trying to like guess. Not as fun. <laughs> 